so it is easier to use it uh, by it, it brings eye comfort when you don't need to poke your the eyepiece as if into your eye to get too close to it so this is a good eyepiece it's quite chunky and heavy and uh, also this is the actual uh, diagonal erect image diagonal the good thing is that you can use this telescope for viewing the terrestrial or subjects birds and buildings and from far away things and studying this uh, you know uh, <coughs> things in this uh, sky or the earth and uh, the image will be upright now i'm now going to assemble this and just show you the final assembly okay i've now assembled the mount and the eyepiece and the diagonal and i must say i'm really impressed with the sturdiness and the chunkiness of this and the ease of movement of it uh, I had uh, seen at the other telescopes, Maxitov and other things, I tested them in the shop and I was trying to uh, come ac uh, across the ideal telescope. And I found that this one was really best in the way of being chunky and uh, at the same time a ability to manage it without much effort in the dark and carrying it. So, now the spot is sco scope, I have to put it, I will do it now. Okay, I must say that I'm really impressed with the ease of assembly of this. It just took me less than five minutes to assemble all this. Now the spotting scope has gone into here. It's a simple dovetail assembly. You just loosen up this screw and then slide the spotting scope. And it has also this bracket at the bottom, but which can go to the mount. I will show you the mount later. I have. I have a mount for this proper mount, and uh, I'm really impressed with the quality of this. I can't hold it in my... you cannot say with many telescopes that, but I can hold this 90 millimeter main mirror telescope in, in one hand. Easy. Okay, after many weeks of uh, not seeing the moon because it was so cloudy, now we can see the moon. And I am now in this moonlight testing the Skywatcher sorry uh, Celestron C19 Mac and the Questor field version I exchanged these two eyepieces between them repeatedly 24 millimeter panoptic and uh, again 24 millimeter to 8 millimeter olive on zoom I changed them and uh, what I found my observations is that this telescope has a, a lot of light to scatter in a way, halo around the moon. This doesn't have that much. What is is that in this one, the little bit image is sharper. This one is sharp, but uh, slightly less sharp than this one. It can be one reason because I first uh, had it out and uh, climatized for around one hour. This was just done now. So I wonder if I just let this climatize again, that will catch up with that. At the moment, both of them are very good. This is slightly sharper. I've tested on several features on the moon. And I can say that uh, they're very close. Questor has a lot of uh, halo and lighter scatter around it. But the image is slightly sharper. A tad sharper, not much. But the contrast, this one is better. The C90, Celestron C90, new version, Chinese one. I think the main reason for difference and the lighter scattering in this one is that practically it doesn't have any coating on the meniscus. This one has a very good coating and modern coating. This I bought it from new, this is second hand and when I talked with the requester they told me that the serial number doesn't match with the description so well, it was sold to me as a broadband, but the serial number is for a field version. Pyrex, no broadband. So, that all, I have a suspicion that this is a very old one. Nothing is original, it's just uh, uh, scavenged from the other telescopes. And uh, there is no coating, it must be very old, at least 40 years old. But the serial number says that this was built around 1977. Okay, both of them now have cooled down. 
I'm using 24 panoptic and Nirvana 16 on this. And I can see now that they have acclimatized well. Both of them probably are, uh, don't have much convection inside the tube of the telescope. And this one is sharper now than this one. This one has a lot of shadow, kind of washed out as if it has fog as if. It doesn't fog, the, you know, it has light is scattered. It doesn't have any fog or any blemish on the lens or corrector or eyepiece or mirror or anything. But the image in this one is now sharper after uh, thermal equilibrium. I think it's because of newer coating on this. This one probably doesn't have any coating at all. This one has a fresh coating on the corrector. And that's the difference between these two now. And observing the Alpon Valley now, I can see Alpon Valley in the part of it is out of the shadow at the Terminator. You can see the mountains of the Taurus Mountains. Uh, Caucasian Mountains, sorry. Caucasian and Taurus Mountains, yeah, I can see them. And uh, what I can say is that the convenience of using a Barlow, the position of the focuser, uh, the ability to use the finder by just a level. You're going to finder, now it goes to the eyepiece or diagonal. Uh, with this one, you don't have that uh, luxury, but the image in this one is better. He has a fresh new coating. This one doesn't have the coating probably at all. Probably if you buy a new one of this, it will be equal or slightly sharper. That's for someone who has both. I don't. So this is a new Celestron C90 and this is the Quest or field version 1977 or something around that time.